Hello world and welcome to Celebrate Sunflowers card number three. We finished cards number one and two and I hope you've enjoyed them. So today let's work on card number three, the final in the Celebrate Sunflowers series. Cards to go with the Celebrate Sunflowers bundle from the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. So let's see what card number three. So here's card number three. Remember, we've done cards one and two. This is card number one. Card number two. And this is card number three. And with your card number three, your kit should contain your Just Jade, new in color, card base, Bumblebee, inside matte, Whisper White, inside panel and the bumblebee embossed with the tasteful textures new embossing folder just released a pretty piece of paper ribbon and then what i've used since i don't know that everybody will have the celebrate sunflowers bundle with the die cuts is i've just put them on a a scalloped circle Normally, I would cut it out with this large die if I stamped it, but if not everybody has it, then we're just going to make use of the scallop circle. And that looks pretty good, too. We have some leaves in here. And just for some fun, I went ahead and used a piece of paper that had been embossed with this old world paper. And I have just been cutting my leaves out of that. And... That was kind of an accident because I had this piece of paper laying around, but then I decided, well, that's pretty. So we're going to use those. And then we have for our sentiment, can't pick that one up. We have a piece of cinnamon cider and then this whisper white. And I'm using this new tag punch. And I really like these punches because they have two different ends. And we used this one on our first card, actually. I used this end right there. And for this one, I'm using this end. And what I like about it is it will accommodate an inch, three quarters of an inch, or a half inch piece of paper. And you just send it through. This one is, it's actually not quite an inch, but you send it through all the way through and then you can see on the back where you're going to punch it but I'm not going to punch that one because it's already done so so let's get started so this one has a little bit of stamping too I've got some leaves on the inside so let's go ahead and get our leaves on the inside we will be using the just jade for the leaves I'm going to set this aside, kind of scoot everything aside a little bit and get this stamp comes with two leaves on it. And if you wanted to die cut it, you could use this die, which cuts them out separately. And that's what I've done. I have just die cut them out separately but I'm just going to stamp them together because I just want something pretty inside my card okay I'm going to tap 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 and try to get that inked up real good I'm just going to do the two corners and hopefully I will avoid the problem I had before where I didn't get the image down good yay nice image tap 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 and place this down and just touch it. You don't really have to push because if you push, you'll end up getting smears from around the edges of the stamp. Because if I had rocked it, I would have gotten this ink on my card too, and I didn't want that. So just press straight down. And yay, I got pretty good images this time. Okay, I am done with the Just J because the rest of my stamping will be with the cinnamon cider. So since I'm done with that, I'll just go ahead and glue it down. Oh, 
oh, this glue is still giving me problems. I am just bound to have problems with this glue. And that's not typical. Usually it works pretty good. It may be because I really haven't been in my craft room a whole lot lately. Been out doing other things. But if I just run the pin down through it a few times, it works. Okay. Put this on the inside of my card, and that way I'll have less bits of paper to keep track of here. Because when I get bits of paper running all over the place, I might lose it. Okay, so there is the inside of my card all done, and I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And I'm going to stamp my next two images. Well, then my image and a sentiment. Again, normally what I would do is stamp this on a piece of white and then die cut it with this, and it would be perfectly die cut. But because um, I don't know that everybody will have these dies, I've just included in your kit the uh, scallop circles, which I think turned out actually pretty nice. Okay, this is a big image, and sometimes I like to turn them over just to make sure I ink them all over. I like to turn it over and use the pad on the stamp as opposed to the stamp on the pad. Make sure I get good coverage. It looks like I have good coverage. So let's lay it down on there. And it won't be an exact match because it's not the same shape, but I am going to hold it down for a few seconds to let that ink transfer and try to get a good image. And sometimes it'll stick. Nope, it's good. It's good. I got it a little off center, but that'll be fine. And then I need to get my sentiment. And I can see that my sentiment's coming unstuck from its label, but that's all right. I'll worry about that later. Okay. And it doesn't really matter. There's plenty of room on here. Oh, my paper slipped just as I went to put it down, so let's hope it's okay. Cross your fingers. No, it's not okay. That's okay. We have two sides. My oh my. Okay, let's try to keep my paper from slipping this time. Hoping, hoping, hoping. It's still crooked. So which one do I like better? I think I like this one better. So I'm going to use it. It gets two tries with me. There's two sides to the paper. It gets two tries. So that's, that is the end of the stamping. And boy, it's a really good thing. Having a rough time lately in my craft room. So now we just have to assemble. So let's get all our little bits and pieces. And remember to use wet glue or the really good double stick tape because a tape runner or oh, anything, an adhesive that's not very strong will just not work on this. So those tape runners don't work very good. Okay. Oh, look what I did. I did it again. I should have put this, I should have put my designer paper on and then my ribbon, but you know what? We'll fix it just like we did last time. I am on a roll with this set of cards. So this set of cards is not necessarily about what to do. It's what not to do, okay? Do not do as I do. Just do as I say. And look at that. I'm even putting that on the wrong place. Oh, my, 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 my. It goes over here. Might just take this and wipe some of this off. It's going to be fine. Again, don't do what I do. Do what I say. Please, please, please. Okay, we will do this the same way we did it before. We'll get the tear tape out. Normally, of course, I would wrap it around, but that's not going to work since I put it down. 
having quite the time with these cards. I hope they're easier for you to do than they have been for me. Honestly, I didn't have a bit of trouble the first time. So get my double stick tape down. And if you push it down real good, it's usually easier to get it picked up. There we go. And now I'm going to need to trim this. I can just set it on there though and trim it next. Okay, this will work. It's not what I intended, but it will work. I need better scissors than that. Here we go, we'll get our longer scissors. It'll work. There we go. Yay. And look, I did get that wiped off, so that's fine. Um, now, I am going to have to put these behind here before I, I will glue these two together like this, since this is the white edge. I will glue these two together. Just offset a little so we have that contrast. And then I'm just going to start putting my leaves under. Just like it was in actu the actual flower die cut out. Oops. Guess I better do a better job than that. You know what? These will probably work better with glue dots. Then I won't have to wait for them to dry. Little mini glue dots. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot easier. If you find something easier, do it. Just pick up the glue dot. This is the easiest way for me to just put my paper on and pick it up like that. And I kind of originally thought that this was the stem, but really, according to the image, it's not really the stem. It's the end of the leaf, so I am resisting the urge to tuck that under and tucking this part under instead. Pick up my glue dot. And there we go. So now we can glue this on. Again, this, this set of cards is obviously, don't do what I do, do what I say. I'm kind of be glad when these are over. They weren't that hard for me to make up in the first place. This, I almost put it on wrong, goes like this. And then just for fun, I took my Let's Celebrate You and kind of put it a little wonky. So there you see my evidence of my boo-boo. We'll just cover that up and put this on here a little wonky. And here we go, card number three. Now, I would say that that one was the act actually the easiest one, except I obviously have been having so much problems with these. So, thank you for your patience, and this is card number three. So, I hope you like that one. Honestly, it's not as hard as I'm making it look. It really is a lot easier. So, um, hope you have much better luck than I have with all my silly little mistakes. Well, all I can say is thank you for your patience with my comedy of errors in putting together these three cards. Really, they're not that hard. They're really easy. So if you're interested in a kit, let me know. Um, if you like the cards to go, let me know. If you don't like the cards to go, let me know. If you have another idea for something you'd rather do, let me know, please. And thank you all and have a great day. Bye now.